Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, dear student, we're going to practice uh, some examples for chemistry online uh, exam, third exam. Uh, you are almost familiar with the MCQs, okay? I'm going to practice with you two questions for matching and uh, some short essay question. Let's start with matching. As you can see, this question uh, match the reaction given in column one with the reaction type in column two. So in column one, I have the reaction. In column two, I have the type. As you can see, the first one is a double bond reacted with water in the presence of H plus, which is an acidic media, to produce alcohol. And then we started with a double bond reacted with water in acidic media to produce alcohol. This is an addition of water, addition reaction for a double bond. The water is added to the double bond, so it's a hydration reaction. Okay, reaction two, it's a double bond reacted with hydrogen gas in the presence of a palladium catalyst or maybe we have a nickel catalyst or a platinum catalyst okay this is a hydrogen addition we started with alkene okay reacted with hydrogen we make a hydrogen addition then we ended with alkane the name of the reaction is hydrogenation Okay, the last one is a double bond reacted with halogen, which is Cl2. It could be Br2, it could be I2. And I, it produces alkyl halide. And then it started with double bond reacted with a halogen to produce alkyl halide. Okay, the addition of halogen named as halogenation. Okay, this is a kind of reaction. Okay. Another type on matching uh, questions, uh, this question match up the IUPAC name with the corresponding structures. I have four structures, one, two, three, four. I needed two matches with A, B, C, and D. E. Let's start. A is two, three, dimethyl butene. It ended with the double bond. I have structure four and I have structure three. Okay, you can see also see it's one butene ended with in. It means a double bond. Okay, so for A and C, I will focus structures with double bond. You can see only three and four have double bond. It's clearly that three have no substituents on it. If you try to number it, it will be one, two, three, four. And as you can see clearly, the double bond starts at carbon two. It's between carbon two, between, sorry, between carbon one and carbon three. So it's at carbon one. Then we have in the longest carbon chain, four carbons, then it's a butene. Okay, this is one a butene. And then three is, goes to C. Okay, four, if you try to number it, it will be طبعاً نبدأ الترقيم اللي هو الأقرب للدبل بوند the nearest to the functional group A functional group, it's the double bond so it's one, two, three, and four you can see there's a substituent and carbon two and carbon three they are two methyl group so it will be two, three, dimethyl clearly Double bond appears at carbon two, then it's two, the longest chain with four carbons, it's a beauty. And then structure four goes to A. Okay, let's see structure two. Try to number it. If you can number it, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Anywhere you start to number, you will end with the same structure and same name. This is one, two, this will be three, this will be four, last one, five. You will have a substituent around carbon three. It clearly, it's two carbon, then the substituted, it's ethyl. So it's a three ethyl, the longest carbon five, then it's benzene. two goes to D, and clearly one will goes to B. One, how you will number it, you will number it like this, one, two, three, add carbon two, you will have two substituents as a methyl, so it's two, two, dimethyl, 
propane. It's two to dimethyl propane. Okay, this is simple two examples for matching. Let's have some examples on short essay questions. Start with the question one. What is the name of hydrocarbons where all of carbons are linked together with a single bond? Okay, it's asked about hydrocarbons. You know, hydrocarbons could be alkan, alkene, alkyne, and the aromatic. Okay, but he says that which one of those, okay, all carbons are linked together with single bond? They have only single covalent bond inside it. It's Alkane, the answer is alkane. In short, a say question or in short, a question, you will have the answer as two words, three words, structure, name of a compound. It's not long, okay? Very, very short answer. Okay, let's see question two. Why alkanes are known as saturated hydrocarbons? You know that hydrocarbons categorize into saturated unsaturated saturated if they have all single single covalent bond between carbons okay unsaturated if the compound have at least one double bond between carbons or one double bond between uh, sorry one double bond between carbons or one triple bond between carbons alkanes all the carbon carbon bonds are single so we named as saturated how i will provide the answer you will say it consists of single covalent bond very simple what is the general formula of alkenes okay maybe it will ask about alkanes maybe it will ask about alkynes maybe it will uh, ask about the general formula for the cyclic alkanes okay it depends on the question if he asked what is the general formula of alkenes the answer is cnh2n okay alkenes prefer to undergo addition reaction while aromatic compounds prefer what type of reaction? All of us, we know that we have an addition reaction on double bond. Addition of hydrogen, addition of water, addition of halogen, addition of HCl, and so on. But aromatic reaction have different type of reaction. Ma in the addition reaction on aromatic, I have different one. If you refer to slides, you will find the reaction on aromatic compounds who are electrophilic substitution okay we substitute h plus with electrophile so it's electrophilic substitution reaction okay what is the name of reaction that is used to convert cyclohexene to cyclohexane cyclohexene it means six membered ring with a double bond inside it i will convert it to cyclohexane let me draw it. This is cyclohexene. You will have a double bond inside. I need it to be cyclohexane, no more double bond. How I will remove the double bond, okay? What I will do, you will make hydrogenation reaction. It means that I will make a reaction between cyclohexene with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel catalyst, then it will be converted to cyclohexane. Keep in mind, keep in mind, hydrogenation, it means addition of hydrogen. In other words, hydrogenation is a reduction reaction. Reduction in organic, it means increasing the number of hydrogen atoms inside the compounds. Okay. More questions, more examples. What is the name of molecules that have the same molecular formula, but their atoms bond in different orders, okay? A clear, this is the definition of isomers, okay? This is the definition of isomers. They have the same different, same chemical formula, but differ in arrangement of atoms, and then this is isomer. Like a compound that contains only hydrogen and carbon is defined as what? An organic, we have compounds that have only carbon and hydrogen and we have the general this general name for it it named as hydro 
carbons, okay? What is the suffix of alkynes? Okay, the compound that have a triple bond will end with a suffix to refer to alkyne. The suffix is dash y and e. It could be as the suffix of aromatic compound, the suffix of alkene, the suffix of alkan. You should be familiar with those suffix. Okay, question nine. What is the simplest alkene? It means that the simplest alkene, the simplest compound that have a double bond inside it, it will be two carbon atoms joined together with a double bond. So this is ethene, ethene compound type. What is the molecular geometry around each carbon in ethene molecule? Let's go to ethene. How to answer such a question? Ethene. I will have two carbons, ethyne ended with a Y and E, so there is treble bond, okay? Treble bond between carbon and the fourth bond on carbon will be H. This is the structure of ethyne. As you can see, okay, as you can see, this carbon or that carbon, it's the same. Let's focus on this carbon. This carbon is surrounded with one atom, which is hydrogen, the second atom is H, and this carbon have no uh, electron pair, okay? No pair of electrons free. ما عليها أي إلكترونات حرة, okay? هلا, حتى نحسب المولوكولار جيومتري, we focus on the central atom, okay? طلعوا عذر المركزية. Count how many carbon or how many atoms is surrounded okay if it's surrounded with two and it have no lone pair then the structure should be linear okay you can practice again those equation and if i have time i will provide you with more